Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. And I have the pleasure to be joined by once again, the Wolf, Connor Walker. Connor, how are you today, mate? Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? All, all good, all good. It's always awkward doing the introductions twice after we've spoken for about five minutes before, before the interview started. But but no, all the better for talking to you, mate, ahead of your massive fight with Lewis Ritson. But before we talk about that, we actually haven't had the chance to speak on camera. I mean, about your fight with Lewis Crocker in June. I mean, I'm still not over that fight watching it. I think it's pretty, pretty much a shoe in for my fight of the year, but... I mean, how do you look? Is it a bit of times past now, mate? But how do you look back at that fight um, back in June? Yeah, mate, it was a cracker. Do you know what I mean? I think, like you say, the fans was the real winners there. We um, we both went in there and we just done what we'd done. Like, you know, that's what that's what we do. That's boxing with boxers and we went to war. We both wanted it just as much as each other and it was um, it was an entertaining fight and I, and I fully, fully really enjoyed it. Um, you know, it was uh, we had to both dig deep and we, we both learned a lot about ourselves, which is... It's good, you know, this is what we're in boxing for. Definitely, mate, as well. It's one of the only fights, I think, when where kind of everyone on the media side had had you winning. I don't know if there's anything to do. We had you. We had a, your fans mostly sat behind us. But well, I think the majority of the media section had you winning. And then the majority of the people, I think, on Eddie Hearn's side, which was kind of opposite us, had Crocker winning. But I mean, I don't know how the scorecards were a bit as wide as they were. They were a bit ridiculous. But what what did you make of kind of, yeah, that kind of disparaging kind of, Yeah, It was very much a 50-50 fight. Over, over, I totally from... understand different um, different seats bring different angles, but if you look who Eddie was sat next to, you know you've got Jamie Conlon, Mick Conlon, um, he's like they're, they're, that's their team, that's their corner. Do you know what I mean? So they're gonna be they're gonna be he's won that match. Do you know what I mean? Like they're, they're gonna put it in his head. So if Eddie Hearn was sat on this side with the the commentary and things like that, with them thinking of one, then he's gonna think of one. But you know, he, he's what he's mate. Like, look, look, look. There's not been no losers because look where I am now. I'm pushing. I'm straight back in there with a, another live fighter, and you know, I'm straight. On, I'm back on the big stage. Um, to finish the year off. Yeah, of course. I'm. I'm gutted. I'd, I'd love to have got that. He's ranking. He's what I was. What I was most. Eager to get, you know, being number two in the UK, I think it's 13 in the world. Like that was something that I was really, you know, that's what obviously I leave the kitchen sink in any 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 fight. But you know, that was a real, it was a real big thing for me. Do you know what I mean? Becoming sort of number two in the UK, and then I'm just one step away from where I wanted to be. You know, I've always wanted to be one number one in the UK. Um, so yeah, it was good. In but you know, like you say, it was. We both we 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 both come out um, and we put it all on the line and he he got the nod and that was that it's yeah uh, it's it's one of them definitely and like obviously we'll get on to Lewis Ritson in a minute but it's one of those fights where obviously there's a lot of talk between him and him and Paddy Donovan going but you three could you you could run it back with Lewis you could fight Paddy Donovan you three could really do a round robin of fights in 2025. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think them two fight when when they fight next year. I think. Early on, I'd love the winner. Um, just to put, excuse me, uh, just to put it to bed because mm. you know, like, there there was obviously question marks above that fight and who won. So, you know, you two go and fight. I'll, I'd like to fight the winner, and um, you know, hopefully for a world title. <laughs> and yeah. you know, uh, who knows? There's, there's loads of fights out there for us all. It just mm. seems it's just so happened that we was in like a little bit of a tripod. And, you know, they've just, we're just working out who the best is and, and that was that. Definitely, mate, as well. I don't I don't want to look back any further. Let's look forward. Obviously, November the 30th, Lewis Ritson. I mean, a lot of intrigue around this fight, but it's definitely a fight that can put you back into the position that you're in before the fight with Lewis Crocker as well. Yeah, obviously, I was in, I, I would have been in a lot better position winning that fight. I had my ranking, my number, number five in the world ranking, so you know, it's it's not going to put me sort of where where I was at, but yeah, I'm back to winning ways, and I'm back. Mm. The one after that's going to be a potential massive fight because, you know, that's all I should be in now. Look, I've done my apprenticeship, and I'm ready for these big tests and these big, big nights. So, yeah, look, written. I think the energy I'm getting, the vibe I'm getting is like 
it's going to be a walkover for me. And I just don't, like, obviously, I haven't trained for a walkover. I've trained due diligently, and uh, and I've got, you know, I've done I've done everything right, and it's been another great camp. Um, I just think, uh, yeah, I'm I'm I've trained for the best weeks, and you know, and and I'm not looking past him, but I do think I'm just that much better than him. Definitely, mate, as well, obviously, and obviously, I'm going to get this from the horse's mouth here, Connor, kind of, would would this be kind of the best the best win on your resume so far, obviously, what Lewis has done in the pros with the wins he's had and that run he went on a couple of years ago as well? You could say that, you could say that, um, yeah, like, he's he's the biggest name, I'd say, definitely, because he's, he's a household name, isn't he, you know, Lewis Richardson, like I said in the presser. I've looked up to him. I've watched him. I've admired him. He, you know, he's he he had the best jab. He had the best jab in the UK at one point. You know, and he's still he's still gonna have these sort of things in his artillery. I just think um, time te time takes its time uh, toll on people like Lewis who fight how they fight and when they're not consistent. Definitely, mate, as well. Obviously, um, I was looking at your Instagram story just before before the interview as well. I don't think you've got many tickets left like like you did in in, uh, in Birmingham as well, expecting uh, expecting the Connor Walker army to be out in full force in November. Yeah, mate. Um we've done we've done the same amount of tickets now as we did the the like the end of Oh wow when I weighed in. So like I've I'm waiting for some more tickets. Um I'm waiting on a reply from that. So yeah, we're we're expecting more, um, and it's just going to be another. And I was speaking to Sam Jones earlier, and apparently everyone sold well. So it's going to be a foot for a packed arena, and it's going to be a sellout like seven thousand, eight thousand, I think. So, um, if uh, obviously all the lads sell what they've got, it's going to be a big one because there's a lot, there's a, there's a few decent ticket sellers on there, and obviously Callum Smith just jumped on, which is a uh, It's crazy for me to think that I'm fighting on the same card of card as Callum Smith, which is amazing. Definitely, let's talk about that. I mean, yeah, I mean, I imagine your fight with Lewis is going to be high up on the card. I don't know how much higher, or Callum Smith might be even below you. I mean, to be on the same card as a former one of the well, one of the best world champions this country's produced to be to be on to be on the same card as him, mate. That's a it's a great feeling. Yeah, I'm. Um... I I I don't think the positions change in terms of um you know the schedule of the, the fights. I'm pretty sure I'm co-main event. I don't want to oh, wow. jinx it because obviously I might might not be because obviously everything can change. But um I'm pretty certain I am. And yeah, it's amazing that I'm fighting on the same card as him. I'm, I think he. I think what I understand is just having a run out, so it's not going to be like a massive fight. I'm sure he'd be headlined if so. Mm. Um. But yeah, like it's it's a uh, what a fighter. Yeah, definitely, mate, as well. And also, um, I want to I want to move on to kind of I mean an Instagram post that you put on the other day. It was it was back in October, marking kind of six years since your pro debut with Rick, with Ricky Hatton in your corner as well. But I mean, and now and now obviously with with the RG box fit t uh, box fit team. But fourth fight with Eddie Hearn and Matcher, mate. It's fair to say it's been some journey for yourself as well. Yeah, mate, it's been a it's been a roller coaster, but it's gone so fast because I I, lo I love boxing. I live for it, you know. It's my I was literally only speaking to my partner about it earlier, saying like, when when do I when can I hang the gloves up? Like when like do you know what I mean, obviously I've I've never got no thought of doing it anytime soon. I've always said thirty five, but I said even at thirty five, it's all I've ever done from eighteen years old. It's all I've ever done. Like, um, so look, it's it's been an amazing journey. I've had some wins, some losses. But they've all been good fights, so that's why I'll, I think I'll always be busy because it doesn't matter the outcome with me. You know what you're gonna get. You know you're gonna have a good fight, and you know. Um, I think times are changing now, and I'm gonna. There's not gonna be no more reds. It's all gonna be greens on that box wreck. Definitely, mate, and we look forward to seeing it. I mean, if I had to ask you what, obviously we've got a long time yet, Connor, as you said, but if I had to pick right now, what would be kind of the moment? But yeah, you look back on at the moment and go, "Oh, I did that," or the the moment that stands out for you so far. What would you say that that is? As of now, it was that Cyrus fight, man. It was um, yeah, that that the energy in there, and it was obviously coming off the back of the loss, um, 
people was writing me off. I was a massive underdog with the bookies and everyone was sort of, I was a warm-up fight. They had Ritz in there to come in and, and face off after and I was I was drafting to lose. And it was, um, yeah, I just, I pissed on the parade and the bonfire, so I say sorry. And, and <laughs> you know, I, I, I come away with the win and obviously I got the belt, I got the ranking and it, everything come back alive because obviously off the, off the back of a loss, you always think, Got to rebuild, you know. I've, I've, where, where where do I go from here? But then I got the opportunity. I went, took it, smashed him, and then my my career's changed since then. You know that was that was a career defining fight. It definitely was, mate. And I mean, the being ringside for that for that fight as well is an entertaining fight. But yeah, it, it's always nice to see yeah someone someone as good as yourself who's deserved it and proved himself to get to get the win as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I want to talk about Brad Ray as well. I mean, you, you're good, mate. Sharing rounds with him yeah. this this camp, but also kind of completing camps together with him fighting on Saturday night. I mean, talk to me about your friendship with Brad Ray and talk to me about those spars must be... I wish I was a fly on the wall seeing them. But yeah, talk to me about your friendship with Brad and the spars that you've been doing with him as well. Brad's my boy. So we turned pro together six years ago. So I was moving, I moved a sort of... I drive up to Manchester on the Monday, stay in the house all week with Brad, a few of the others, and then I drive back Friday. So obviously we've done that for two years solid. So I was, I was living with him, you know, I spent every day with him. Um, and yeah, we just connected. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a real top man and he'll be a friend for life, you know. Um, so yeah, we've we obviously, we we done some rounds back in the day. He's he's obviously a bit big for me now. I've gone up to like everywhere and I wouldn't want to slap off him, to be honest. Um <laughs> But yeah, he's um. So yeah, we were meant to be fight. So what the pro- so when he was getting some dates thrown around, I've I've had my date for you know gone twelve. Well, obviously we had twelve weeks notice, so we always knew. So we always in, we were in a group chat, and um, yeah, he goes, oh, I think I'm fighting on the thirtieth, same day as you. I was like, you're joking. And he's like, no, no. So so that was that. Um. And that, and then the date changed. So now he's the week before. So he's his Saturday, and um, and I've got to go up there. Well, I haven't got to go up there. Obviously, I'm going to go up there to support him. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So we're going to go, go there, and then so we all arranged to go away the week after. A few, all of it, because obviously we've got mutual friends together from here and there. So we're all going to meet up uh, the week after my fight in Belfast, um, just for a little Christmas sort of get together and a celebration. Definitely, mate, and uh, well, yeah. Hope you bo- hope you both have a. Uh, I hope you both get the wins and both get have a nice time doing it as well. I mean, Connor, great chatting to you today, mate. Smash through my questions. Any final words for? I mean, the absolute army that you normally bring to uh, bring to the arenas on uh, November the thirtieth, mate. Yeah, once again, man. I'm just I'm I'm uh, buzzing with the response for the tickets, and you know, I'm just. Uh... You know, Christmas Christmas is here and, you know, let's let's all have a good time, you know what I mean? And I uh, just want to say thank you to everyone. Definitely, mate. Uh, definitely. And thank you again for the interview, Connor. And, yeah, see you, see you in Birmingham on the 30th, mate. Nice one, mate. See you in a bit. Cheers.